today it's a very special day for me because as a young man my heroes were all race drivers uh, not musicians and one man more than any set my pulses racing and that was a man called Paddy Hopkirk. In January 1964 Paddy Hopkirk alongside co-driver Henry Lydon steered a Mini Cooper S to victory in the world's most famous rally the Monte Carlo. From nine starting points, including Russia for the first time, the rally drivers converge for the hardest part of the route, the special stages between Reims and Monte Carlo itself. With the odds stacked against them, the battle was almost 2,000 miles across Europe from Minsk to Monaco, beating the rally powerhouses of the deer en route. Snow, snow, quick, quick snow. And quickest of them all, the Mini Cooper of Hopkirk and Lytton, number 37. Paddy has brought me to a small airfield just south of Oxford called Chalgrove. This is where BMC tested the top secret prototype minis in the late 50s. So it's fitting I'm going to be put through me pierces in the place the car was put through its own. This is the moment I've been waiting for, Paddy. I'm in a mini, arguably the greatest mini driver ever, <laughs> you, and I'm going to make a complete tit of myself. It's freezing cold and it's raining. Good weather for a mini, you see? Yes, it is. Well, you drove through a lot worse than this. <laughs> I've done a fair bit of racing, but never in a mini, and certainly never with a living legend as a co-driver. So there's no pressure there, young Johnson. But in rally, you use the skid to go around the corner on yeah. loose roads. In racing, that's quite a different technique. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck it in. Get, get it in early. You're very good. Man. I just wish I could see out this windshield with yeah. these wipers outside on me, son. My God, the d just never did bloody work in these cars. Thank God for the modern car. <laughs> I just don't want to kill you, Paddy. I don't want to kill a living legend. These slippery conditions might be downright dangerous for driving flat out, but they're ideal for Paddy's signature move, the handbrake turn. If I come flying off the track at Brands Hatch, having a grasp of the Mini's handling when it skids will be crucial for saving valuable seconds in the race, and quite possibly me your neck. OK, you're going to flick it to the right, so yeah. just go slightly to the... Just get the car like that a wee bit, and then it goes much easier. I'll pull the handbrake for you if you like. You ready? Yeah, right. Okay, buddy, yeah, we got me, sir. I'll go faster, faster, and don't put your foot in the brake. Faster, faster, now! That's it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Nearly got it all the way around there. Paddy, I love you. Come, come. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. I wanted to do that. Any chance of a singing lesson on a guitar as well? Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been to the Paddy Hopkirk School of Driving, and it's the best fun I've ever had with me clothes on. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce the star of the show? <laughs> Mr. Paddy, look at the size of my gentleman's vegetables, Hopkirk. <laughs> My young He's the protege. greatest. No. He's very good. He's good. <laughs> Paddy, well done. I'll never forget this day. As, as long as I live. In Northern Ireland, you drive well. Ah, oh, great. <laughs>